Get ready, NCIS fans, because we're diving into the world of Emily Wickersham, the talented actress behind the beloved character Ellie Bishop. From having a career born from being spotted out in the city to taking public speaking classes, we're about to uncover some jaw-dropping secrets about Emily Wickersham that even the most devoted fans had no idea about. Born on April 26, 1984 in good old Kansas, USA, Emily Kaiser Wickersham was destined for stardom. She was the youngest member of her family with a cool older brother named Adam. Now, picture this. Their family decided to pack their bags and head on over to the Big Apple, New York City. Talk about a change of scenery, huh? While growing up in the bustling streets of New York, Emily's passion for acting began to blossom like a field of wildflowers in the spring. After completing high school, she embarked on a journey of higher education at the prestigious Muhlenberg College. But hey, sometimes life has other plans, right? Emily's dream of becoming an actor soon became so irresistible that she couldn't resist the call. With a leap of faith, she decided to drop out of college after just two years. And where did she end up? The City of Angels, Los Angeles. She didn't know a soul out there, but that didn't stop her from chasing her dreams. Her first few years in the industry were no walk in the park, folks. Emily faced more challenges than a hero in an action-packed movie. She found herself feeling a little camera shy and was about as social as a hermit crab in a crowded beach. But you know what they say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. To overcome her insecurities, Emily made a bold decision. She enrolled herself in acting and public speaking classes, faster than a race car zooming past the finish line. But it wasn't easy, but with time, Emily started to enjoy her classes, and her talent began to shine. And then, Fate stepped in at a restaurant when a modeling agent spotted her. Not one to miss an opportunity, Emily accepted the modeling offers and also mustered the courage to ask the agent if he could help her land an acting audition. Guess what? The agent came through. Emily found herself auditioning for a small role in the popular crime drama series The Sopranos. And guess what again? She got the role! That's when her career in the entertainment industry truly took off. Before The Sopranos hits the airwaves, Emily had a taste of the limelight on the talk show Late Night with David Letterman. She played the hilarious character Jules in a comedy skit that had the audience in stitches. It was a fantastic start to her on-screen journey. But it was The Sopranos that really put Emily on the map. Her portrayal of Rhiannon Flammer in four episodes of the show garnered well-deserved attention. This breakthrough opened doors for her, leading to auditions for numerous films and TV series. In 2009, Emily got stuck in with a role in the TV drama Taking Chance. Critics couldn't help but shower praise on this low-budget gem. But here's the kicker. Before its release, the film made waves at renowned film festivals like the Sundance Film Festival. Talk about starting off on the right foot. Not one to rest on her laurels, Emily also made her mark in the world of television that year. She made guest appearances in three series, Law & Order Criminal Intent, Bored to Death, and Trauma. These roles showcased her versatility and left a lasting impression on viewers. Now, let's fast forward to 2010. Emily had a small role in the film Remember Me, starring heartthrob Robert Pattinson. While the film received mixed reviews from critics, it still managed to rake in a decent profit at the box office. Sometimes even a small role can open doors to bigger opportunities down the line. And boy did those opportunities come knocking! In 2011, Emily snagged a starring role as Nicole in the science fiction action thriller I Am Number 4. The film struck gold at the box office, but critics had their reservations. Nevertheless, Emily's star was on the rise. That same year, she made a memorable appearance in a single episode of the hit series Gossip Girl. Though her character remained unnamed, Emily left a lasting impression with her undeniable talent and on-screen presence. But hold on tight, folks, because Emily was just getting started. In 2012, she landed a supporting role as Molly Parrish in the film Gone, based on the smash hit book with the same name. And the following year, she made waves in the series The Bridge, portraying the recurring character Kate Milwright across three episodes. It was a stepping stone to her biggest breakthrough yet, 
2013 proved to be a game changer for Emily. She was offered the role of Special Agent Eleanor Bishop in the beloved police procedural series NCIS. Taking over from Cody De Pablo, Emily embraced the challenge with gusto. Initially slated for a three-episode arc, her character's success and popularity led to her becoming a regular cast member for the subsequent seasons of the show. Talk about a rising star! But Emily didn't stop there. In 2015, she landed a major role in the independent film Glitch, further solidifying her versatility as an actress. And just a year later, she graced the screen in NCIS New Orleans, reprising her character Eleanor Ellie Bishop from the original NCIS series. The world couldn't get enough of her talent. Phew, what a whirlwind ride it has been for Emily Wickersham. From her early appearances to her breakthrough roles, she's proven time and time again that her star power knows no bounds. Let's dive deeper into the reasons behind Emily Wickersham's departure from NCIS. While an official explanation wasn't provided, Emily took to Instagram to bid a heartfelt farewell to the show. In her message, she expressed immense gratitude towards the exceptional cast and crew, emphasizing the unforgettable journey she had experienced during her nearly eight-year tenure and 172 episodes on the series. Although fans initially speculated that she might be leaving to pursue other projects, no concrete connections were made at the time. However, in a surprising turn of events, Emily shared some significant news on Instagram in July of 2021. She announced that she was expecting a baby. This revelation sheds light on the likely motivations behind Emily's decision to step away from NCIS. It became evident that she had chosen to prioritize her growing family and embrace the incredible journey of motherhood that awaited her. While fans undoubtedly missed her on-screen presence, they rallied behind her as she embarked on this exciting new chapter in her life. So, with a heart full of gratitude and the anticipation of a new arrival, Emily Kaiser Wickersham bid farewell to NCIS to embrace the joys and challenges of motherhood. But what about her dating life, you ask? The talented star is currently in a relationship with actor James Badge Dale. James has an impressive repertoire of screen credits, including notable roles in the TV drama 24 as Chase Edmonds and in the HBO miniseries The Pacific as Robert Leckie. He has also appeared in films like the 1990 adaptation of Lord of the Flies and the crime thriller The Departed, where he portrayed Trooper Berrigan. In his most recent role, James portrayed John Dutton Sr. in the Yellowstone prequel series 1923. The exact details of when Emily and James met are not known publicly. Prior to her relationship with James, Emily was married to musician Blake Hanley from 2010 until their divorce in 2018. Emily and James made their relationship public in June of 2021, a mere selfie of the couple at a bar. In the caption, she playfully assured her followers that despite their serious expressions in the photo, they were indeed friendly. Fast forward six months later, and Emily and James welcomed their first child together, a son named Cassius in December of 2021. Love is certainly in the air for Emily Wickersham and James Badge Dale as they continue to navigate their careers and embrace the joys of parenthood. You see, folks, Emily Kaiser Wickersham's journey is a shining example of determination and resilience. She never let her initial struggles define her. Instead, she grabbed life by the horns and carved her path in the entertainment industry. From being a timid newcomer to a confident and accomplished actress, she truly is an inspiration for all of us.